Um, as, a, as a researcher in the field of water quality, I, I feel the pain of South Africa. Mm. And um, they are not the only ones who are going to suffer with uh, water stress. Uh, because research has, has shown and there have been, models have been done that by 2020, a quarter of Africa's population is going to be under water stress. Mm -hmm. So that is very serious. So what needs to be done is that our governments need to take this data research and really fund most of these researchers. There are a lot of young people who have innovative solutions but have not yet been exposed. So our governments need to fund these researchers and we have a good data set and help and it will it will eventually help us adapt to this to these changes because 2010 is 2020 is just five years from now and that is quite serious so we do not want to see any of of the replay of the droughts that took place in the 80s in africa so my my solution to that is that we need to if we need to invest in these technologies we need to have like drought resistant crops we need to give financing to our to our local farmers because most of them are subsistence farmers and they deal and they work with rain fed agriculture they cannot afford irrigation so we need to have access to funds finance these farmers to have to have irrigation practices where they can afford to have these irrigation machines and everything and and, and another solution is that we also need to know we need to improve our weather forecasting we need to invest in the centers that we have in Dakar that we have in Cape Town mm -hmm. and that we have in Khartoum. We need to invest in them. The African Union needs to, to start investing in science. Yes, it's good to talk about politics and everything, but science is key. We need this data. Data is quite important that when you're not prepared, there's power in data. Without data, the government cannot make decisions. So that means we need to invest in, this, in scientists, in research, and have an open data and interact with different all different African nations need to interact. Scientists from Francophone, from Anglophone need to, need to share all this data and we have one body that can work together for sub-Saharan Africa. What as a matter of fact,